you see that uh, all these our politicians are wicked all of them are saying that uh, eh, somebody is coming out at least this one is trying to be it's trying to be diplomatic mm, trying to be nice but it's not nigerians are not going to be listening to that uh, bs all these cock and boo stories who is this person mm. yes uh, his name is a uh, um uh, who is this uh the rep deputy here yeah, former rep deputy you said here yeah, your complaints are justified but don't protest like kenyans who are you to tell nigerians not to protest there are there are, there are cases of for this one is trying to say okay yes so nigerians are complaining and we can we understand but they should not protest like kenyans so what are you going to do if you don't want them to protest like the kenyan people did then do the need food yeah kenya is smaller than nigeria this is a ref a deputy speaker begs i think this is former it's a former um, deputy speaker the lawmaker who gave the advice on thursday during the plenary ag argued that protests can solve the current economic challenges nigerians are currently facing benjamin Kalu, deputy speaker of the house of representatives of nigeria has argued as urged nigerians not to copy what is happening in other african countries particularly kenya they should not copy but you guys are copying what is happening the bad things that are happening or even you people say that you are even the bad people yourself you're not even copying anything maybe other african countries will be copying your the wrong things all the nonsense things that you politicians are doing where did you copy it from we said we are practicing democracy of uh, you, uh, uh, america is that how they operate their own medicine their own democracy that everything you people corruption is just a normal thing you people even see you don't even you don't even think you don't even hide like people always say that oh no there is no place where you don't have corruption maybe in those places they are hiding it but we our politicians will come out foolishly and be saying i'm a thief i'm a thief and what can you do the next thing go to court if you're not satisfied with what i'm doing go to court some of them will be saying that uh, oh and uh, you're jealous of me and they are jealous of me because uh, they are not in the position what kind of position even president me i'm only saying what is so special you are a president you are a servant it's just that uh, in nigeria you are just stealing money you have opportunity of stealing money and you feel that uh, you can use the instrumentality of the government to oppress the people by sending out the police sending out the soldiers to go and intimidate people i think uh, the igp uh, the inspector general of police was saying the other day that they are banning protests says who who are you to ban protests and they will tell you that uh, these people are jacked with hoodlums. Why are you so respecting? Why are you so respectful of a uh, hoodlums? Agbero, the Agberos, we are jack here. We are jack the protest. Why is it that you cannot protect the the protesters? Because it is constitutional. It is their right to protest. If you don't want to, them to protest, then you do the, not, the normal thing. You don't want to do the normal thing. You are promising, promising. This is the same promising Nigerians, promises Nigerians have been receiving since uh, independence. See, today, Everything you go better, Osha Madanoni Osha Madanoni. She in the Lama Jokoti. Now that won't go chop just like a way of Tinubu they talk the others. I say now, statistics will go chop. So now this kind of nonsense. And the next is some people now be telling you to be praying. Praying what? Pray, pray for what? Tinubu has gone to buy 150 billion naira worth of uh, aircraft. Did he pray? No, did they pray before they shook her inside the budget? Did they pray? They don't pray, but when it comes to the masses, they just uh, approve a uh, seventy thousand naira minimum wage. Who that one won't help? Before they are, you are signing it, and they know it's not going to be fine. The other day we saw Sinubu's wife. He, she was just deceiving herself, telling us that the people should go and be buying plastics to be to be doing farming. Who does that? Meanwhile, you know the problem of farmers insecurity. You don't want to talk about it. You are telling people, and I was asking when I saw that video. I said, "Is this woman? Is she okay?" Because anybody who is okay, and they know the truth because it's wickedness. You can't tell me they don't know what they are doing. And you want to tell me that is this person okay? You think if you are not okay, you think Nigerians are not okay. Are you going to plant a, a cassava? Are you going to you are going to plant pepper? You are going to plant right because now you know before we used to experience, oh, they say oh tomato don't die, oh ah, tomato look on the again, no, but other things will be cheaper. They may be in that in that in that line. You can say, okay, go and be uh, planting tomatoes. Even at that, how many are you going to plant that we that will be enough for you and your family. I don't understand. Because when they talk, you see that so this person is talking like a foolish person because you know what you are doing or you are saying is not is not uh, uh, is not practical, it's not doable. 
then you want to tell me that uh, you want me to believe that you are okay you are not okay am i going to plant rice am i going to plant cassava am i going to plant a, a granito i don't understand what they are saying because virtually everything is very very expensive what of gary gary that at least you can just at least is the, is the easiest and cheapest thing before now and uh, before now then even that gary is so expensive can you even, can anybody even afford the gary and you come and tell us uh, and this particular politician this one uh, is always they're always on their on their side and that's why all of them are they are waging war against indumi they are waging war they know the truth and it is all about selfishness. Mm. The rest of people can be banned to the Philistine. Me, I don't believe now. So now, 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 remain. If any, any high way be, make we go sort on ourself out. Nigerians are the very, you know, Nigerian masses are the nicest people here on earth. I don't know where because of the intimidation and this and that. You know, we the problems are just too many. People are just tired. Where do you start from? layers upon layers of problems layers of layers of problems where do you start from that's why you see people just like you know you know what let me just i don't even have time because even if i talk now what's it going what's it go change but and that is the tactics that these politicians are using to intimidate us to oppress us like now there are three things now that they have used to be able to divide the nigerian people the religion ethnicity and poverty hmm, some people say poverty now you meet Poverty in your meat. You will be saying, I was telling somebody this morning, there's one of my friend, friends I was talking with, and she was like, oh, eh, eh, people, when it comes to voting, people, you see people, eh, they will go and be collecting gari, this and that, and they will be telling them, is this gari that will, that will save you, or this uh, two bags of rice, two cups of rice that will save you, they will not for it. I say, hunger no be your meat. If you are hungry, see, eh, the first thing, the most important thing in life, eh, basic things in life, is food. If you don't have food, they forget it, and you don't have hope of getting food. See, even me, I can't come out and tell you that eh, eh me, I don't go to take camo. I say, hunger no be your meat. If you see yala yaba bala ya ebi, whether they call hunger, may you know, Fashola said one thing one time that he said, may our loyalty not be tested, our loyalty not be tested because you can still release it to other things. Make you know, just go through that level of a uh, hardship. Some people they experience uh, actually maybe ninety percent. Some people maybe eighty percent, seventy percent. You can say, oh, uh, you still have hope. You still have a uh, some kind of a uh, hope in in some places that you be able to measure. Up. But if your level of uh, this in uh, he don't they go like ten percent. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing it the other way. But if your the degree of your poverty and your desperation is so high, there is nothing you're not gonna do. Um, maybe because you have not been in that position, you can say, Oh, me, I cannot do this. Uh, me, I cannot do this. It's worse than that. And this one is coming to tell us in hey, Nigeria, we should not copy. Why can't you people copy all these other Western countries? Because Nigeria is a rich and blessed country. Why is it that you politicians cannot copy them? Copy the good things so that uh, your, your people will not be experiencing all these things. Now, you say they should not. You cannot beat a child and you say the child should not cry. Is it possible? Eh? Is it possible? It's not possible. You beat a child. You beat it. You say, don't cry. Don't cry. It's not possible. You are beating Nigerian people. You say they should not talk. They should not protest. Eh, this and that. It's unfortunate. What this guy says eh, at times eh, is just so, so, so annoying. Honestly speaking. The lawmaker who gave the advice on Thursday during the plenary argued that a protest can solve current eh, problem. Or is it can, cannot solve? I don't know what he's trying to say. Despite acknowledging that the policies of the present administration has caused serious hardship to common citizens, so himself agree. So, what can be the difference between what this uh, Kalu is saying with a uh, what's his name Ndumi? This they would, some of them say we know we know that uh, things are top. Even Tinubu himself knows. So why should you be telling us? And Tinubu say me they no pity on. I don't say all this on uh, now. Now, cock and boo stories and uh, now, now, bobo, they be bobo Nigerians. Eh, oh, don't pity me. Eh, let the poor breed. I know what you are go see, going through. I know what you are passing through. Oh, I will not abandon you. I say all those ones, eh, now, statement of a 419. I mean, I will say it when I sit through. Now, statement of a 419. Why is it that since the day Tinubu enter, now Nigerians no get rest of mind? Waiting and himself and his cronies, they are enjoying themselves. That Akma go they talk rubbish. If they talk nonsense. Say eh, eh, this and this and that. That Nigerians, that the policies now. And I told you, for as many of you who have been listening to me, 
the other time this man said the vice president as at last year he said all these policies are whatever that in the next 17 months that's 17 months and people were even saying 17 months as, as at last year 17 months would be like a december or november this year and people say what were what will nigerians be holding on to i see that is not enough Akpabe is coming to tell us now. That's that 17 months, eh? No, it's going to be after seven years. So tell me whether these guys are not 419. Tell me whether they are not 419. You say after seven years. <laughs> and some people come and tell you that, hey, don't talk, don't say. Well, they don't tell this man, say, stop taking the people's patience for granted. You promised Nigerians heaven and earth when first subsidies was removed, assuring us the refinery will resume production by december 2023 and the cost of where we drop as it be done electricity is far beyond the reach of the masses food is not affordable must we all die before uh, why the politicians elite continues preach that gospel to criminal members they gave nigeria their allowance not half salary period oga as you said nigeria is bigger than kenya so also our protest will be times five bigger than that of kenya but be ready to run when it hurts. Most of you here campaigned and voted APC from 2015. So enjoy it. Nto. Somebody say, Nto. Why all of you are afraid of protests when the father of all protests is in the hem of affairs of this country? Tinubu, now they, they arrange you. They arrange protests then. Now I say, you know what make they, they, they take a, a, they protest? One in and you write with the say, go on, fake, go on, your dalorio. There's a way they say it. You know what you want others to do to you. Do to others what you want them to do to you. He doesn't want people to protest against him, but uh, he was protesting against against people. Yes, they are all afraid. Though you call Kenya and other African countries small countries, we should not compare Nigeria to, because we are bigger giants of Africa. But if I may ask you, you this Kalu, if I may ask you, how about countries like uh, America? China, India, and the rest that are bigger than Nigeria. And you people visit there always. Can you please tell me if this is how they are being governed by their leaders? Please, you people have pushed the masses to the point of no return through your kleptomaniac life. So guys, I'll let's say your opinion and have your statement on this. Thank you.